For a patient in need of hip immobilization, we begin with manual stabilization of the limb, controlling the area both above and below the injury. We'll expose the injury, investigating to see if we have any open fractures, moving all the way down to the foot and checking distal PMS. If, we have, if we've identified the need for a long board splint, we'll begin by collecting a long and medium board splint and at least six cravats. At least three cravats will be passed underneath the knee to the area medial to the, to the injury. One will be passed underneath the Achilles. And the final two will be passed underneath the small of the patient's back, underneath their lumbar spine. This can be either accomplished directly, or if possible, using one of the splints as a tool to put the cravats underneath. Next, you spread out the cravats into their locations. One cravat will go underneath the Achilles, one cravat will be under the knee, just distal to the knee. One will be above the knee, so just proximal to the knee. One will be on the uh, thigh, just distal to the hip. One will be underneath the small of the back, over the ischial crests, iliac crests. And finally, the uppermost will be on the lower regions of the rib cage. Medium splints will be placed on the inside of the patient's leg, with the soft side towards the patient. And the long splint will be matched up with the bottom of the other splint, extending up into the patient's armpit. As you tie the cravats, we want to ensure good tightness, placing the knot over the splint itself and not over any voids or over the patient. It is likely that these cravats and their knots will loosen over the application of the splint, so be prepared to revisit Move systematically as you tie your cravats. Ensuring you both get these splints tight while respecting the patient's injury. If a particular cravat can't be tied due to the location of the injury, simply omit it and do your best to find a substitute location. As you tie the top cravat, do your best to spread out the cravat so it doesn't apply too much pressure over too small an area. And coordinate with your patient as they breathe in so you do not over tighten it and restrict breathing. Once complete, you'll check and adjust any cravats as needed paying especially attention to the original ones to ensure they haven't loosened over time. Check PMS. If the splint is too tight, you can loosen the straps. Else, you can transport the patient.